Hi, welcome along to the channel. This is the first video of 2020, a brand new year. I'm David. I'm Tamara, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video if you like the content that we are making. And we make, uh, well, our channel is all about our lives here in Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Western Balkans. So if you think you find that interesting, We'll show you around where we travel, what we do, what we eat. Yeah, take People you along with us. that we meet take along with us. So if you're interested to follow us, please don't forget to subscribe and press the... Bell. The dingly dangly. To be notified. To be notified. Every time we post something. Video. Yes. Um, just before we started to film this, we were sat down in the living room talking about um, what we should do better for 2020, whether it's to make better blog posts or to be more active on Facebook and Instagram or to make more vlogs. And I think you came out and you said the, the real focus should be on vlogs because people can follow us better like that. I think people uh, really like following vlogs. That's in my own opinion. But if uh, I'm wrong, please let us know in the comments, comments below. below. So uh, I think vlogs, that, that's where they are because uh, I usually watch people. You're, an, you're, an, you're an avid YouTube watcher. Yes, I watch YouTube a lot. You, you've been watching people for years. Yes, some people, some vloggers for years, but uh, then I don't watch them all the time, of course. Sometimes I just go for a, one or two months without watching them and then I go back and then watch again and things like that. I do watch a lot, lots of cooking uh, channels and the DIYs and uh, things that. that I can learn things from. So the plan is we're going to do more or as much as we can without burning out. And that's always a, a hard thing. Um, when you watch YouTube vi uh, videos or you watch things on Facebook or Instagram, not a lot of people understand that the people that are creating them, and we're not great at it, um, you can get burnt out, can't you? Yes, you can. Okay, definitely. but we're going to plan to do more. Right. Since the last video, we've had a Christmas, a New Year, and another Christmas. And the out of the three of them, I thought the most interesting one is the second Christmas, which is Pravoslavat Bozic. <laughs> Pravoslavni Bozic. Pravoslavni, Pravoslavni Bosch, Bosch, yes. which means Serbian Orthodox Christmas. Christmas. Right. There are some things that happen here every year. We have shown li little bits in the past, but we thought that we take you with us on the journey. Now, the day before, which is Badnyak Dan. Yes. Did I say that right? Yes. Right. Badnyak is... Badnyadan. Okay. Badnyadan is um, uh, the Serbian Orthodox equivalent of Christmas Eve. And the banyak is your equivalent of a Christmas tree. Yes. So a Christmas tree is a fir tree and we hang baubles on it and all that. We do that as well. But what is the difference between a Christmas tree and a banyak? Uh, banyak is the old oak tree mm -hmm. that you find for good happiness, health and warmth in the house. Mm -hmm. And the Christmas tree is, I don't know. Yeah, the Christmas, Christmas tree came from Germany, basically. Yeah, it's just a Christmas tree. But we do still have Christmas trees yeah. as well. But the thing is... No, it's usually for New Year. Yeah, we messed up this year, didn't we? Okay, we did. Because the thing is, the day before, <laughs> we always mess you up. have to go and get the banyak. So people go, not city people, because city people buy them ready-made now, don't they? Yes, we, we, I got the ready-made one, but I didn't go to the forest to get the proper banyak. But people like us now living out, out in the rural, Yes. we go out to find one, don't we? Yes, yes. And I also got one. We had one on the day, but we just didn't go and find one. We were supposed to find it the day before. <laughs> so in the morning, Tam says, David, take this axe. We're going out. I have never, ever done this before, but I thought it was... I don't know. It's I, usually it was, my it, dad. Was, it was very cute, wasn't it? It's the first time we've done yes, it because yes. your dad normally does yes, it. Yes, my dad usually is he, he's doing it, but uh, this time he also did it as well. He brought one, but he said that he doesn't have time. And then we said, we're going to do it. And then he brought another one as well. So we have two. So we did that, and then it was cold, wasn't it? Yes. It, it really was cold. Um, and then it was, the rest of the day was basically Tam doing the biz. Or the two of us doing the biz. Yes. Really. And by the biz, uh, and I've got it so I don't get it wrong here. Um, after doing the badnyak, uh, I went off to our neighbour to see the meat being prepared. In other words, roasted that was going to be eaten on the, the next day, which is like Christmas Day. Um, it's traditional. It's a of... big pig. Every yeah, year it it's a big pig. Two yeah, families share it, right? Two family, yes, because they are sharing with their family and they have many members of the family. Uh -huh. And for, for us, it's only four, five of us. So. Yeah. 
And it's and so... I don't know how many members of them are. It's like 10, 12, 15. I don't know. <laughs> Lots of people. So that's why they need a big pig. But it's normally Tam's dad and the neighbours. I normally go along just to like be a groupie. Uh, hang around and, and, it's and drink like, rakia. Like, for example, around these holidays, we make prepare lots of food. So the good thing is that you don't have to spend another three, four days cooking. You just eat the food that you have. That's also, another thing, just prior to doing this video, yes, we had you, you sanma. Yes, uh, you just, uh, like, you eat the food that you have, you save money, and you just save time. You know, you don't have to cook. Absolutely. We just had sama before coming here. Yes. Right, talking about sama, Tam makes the best sama. Tam's niece, Victoria, says doesn't she does, like doesn't like it. But basically, in a nutshell, what is sarma? Sarma is uh, cab st stuffed cabbage, basically, rolled up. Like uh, but yeah, but what, what do you put in the middle? Cabbage. You put uh, the mixture of the meat, the beef and the, I use the pork, but you can use one or each other, but uh, one, either beef or, or pork. But I like mixing it because with the only beef, it's too strong for me. I find it too strong, and uh, when I mix together, it's really, really nice. Nice combination. And I took part this and year. And then by... I put a little bit of uh, you put a little bit of fries and spices, and I also put some bacon, dry meat, smoked meat, smoked meat, yes. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And, and it, you... onion, I fry some bacon and onion, then I put it in the. And mixture. how long does it hubble Smoked bubble for? Uh, Boil. I don't Cook. know. It's depending, but uh, it, it's better, it, the longer the better. So, for example, if you, last year, sorry, I made it in a crock pot, so it was on like, I don't know how many, six hours on a slow cooker in a crock pot. Uh, this year I just made it in a pot and I boiled it, I don't know how many, two hours, two hours. Yeah, it was about two and hours. And my mother said like, oh, I don't do it any longer, you know, we're going to heat it up and things. And, Which is true. Uh, and it gets even more salty and salty. Uh, and the, the cabbage is gets overcooked or something. But you, I like the summer. I don't know family. how many you made. 18, wasn't it? I don't know. Well, we haven't, we Not brought, 18. No, we brought eight I back. Made, we brought eight back. Cause see, the thing I is, made the whole pot. I didn't. Yeah. There's more than 18. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, Tam's mum gave us a doggy Where bag. Where did you come up with number 18? I don't know. Maybe because there were five of us and we had two each on the day. Plus eight, eight, no, but there's more. Yeah, but there's okay. more left. Forget there's at that. least 50 sarmas there. <laughs> so after making all this hard work and grind, uh, mincing through the mincer, uh, all, all the ingredients, the beef and the pork and everything, um, Tam decided that it wasn't time to lie down. You had to go and make bread. Chesnitsa, I pronounced that right. Yes, chesnitsa. But I don't make it traditionally, way. I just make it like a bread traditionally. You used to make it traditionally. Yeah, no, never me. My mother does. All oh, right. You don't put any yeast in it. Traditionally, and I do. I just make it like normal bread, but I just put the coin in. So. But this year you cheated by using yes. A bread every maker. year I used to do it my own, uh, but now I use the bread maker and I use the dough, the dough settings. So when you get a dough, that's how I make pizza as well. I always uh, make pizza dough in a in a in a, <laughs> in a bread machine. And it. And that's how I did it. So I made the dough for the large bread. Like I have a recipe, a good recipe for the bread because I have a bread Bible book. And uh, then at the end, I was kneading it on my own and putting the coin, which I forgot to put, which you will see in the video. <laughs> well, no, you did put the coin in. No, I forgot. Then I put the coin in. And then she put the coin in and she did it again and then and baked then... it. And then when you came out, you had, it was shock horror, wasn't it? It was shock horror because the coin popped up. That means he wanted to stay with me. He wanted me to be rich this year so nobody so, could get it. <laughs> so what we did is we took um, tweezers. And we pulled it pulled out. Pulled it out. You managed to fill over the hole. Yes. And then we made a, a slit underneath and pushed it in. Because the idea is when people go to, when, 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 before the lunch, they break it, don't they? Yes. And who gets the coin has the most luck that year and the money. But uh, the coin fell on the floor. <laughs> yeah, but your, so your niece funny. got it. Yeah, but she got it but on you, her side. But can you see what, how different it is about culture? Because it seems to me that Serbian Christmas lunch is all about money. Why? Because, first of all, when you break the bread, you get money. Yes. But before you make the bread, in your apron, you had you hundreds of marks. Yes, that's what my mother told me, like that her, my great-grandmother used to told her to do it like that. You always make a chastens with lots of money in your apron. That means that you're going to have lots of money that year. Mm. And we had a really sort of like, not lazy Christmas day, but pretty less stressful day because... For Serbian Orthodox Christmas, we always go to your parents because your parents come here mm -hmm. and we do sort of like an Anglo-Serbsky yeah. Christmas. 
So we drove into town. There was nobody there. It was like a ghost town, a ghost town yes. wasn't it? Yes. City of nearly, I don't know, 280,000 people or whatever. It's 300,000 people. Because no, everyone or, was having lunch with the family. Outside and, it somewhere. And who doesn't have a family or who's studying it. When you look, all the students are gone. So everyone was gone. So the city was really, really empty. And uh, we came before the one o'clock, so that was a lunchtime. But on the way back home, there was a traffic jam because everyone was going home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's what we've been up to, basically. Yes, we had uh, sort of like an Anglo-Serbian Christmas, but I mean, that's the same for most Brits around the world anyway. New Year is New Year. We had a nice New Year, didn't we? Yeah, but we don't. What did we do? We, 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 what, we were watching TV. You were TV. snoring, David. What, would, what did we Me? do? Me. Of course. Does this look like a nose that you snores? Need, I need to tell you what you've done. No, no, no. Snorting, snorting, snorting. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's it. But that's what New Year's all about. But we had some nice champagne. Yes, we did. We really did. We discovered this French champagne, which is really, really nice. So that and was nice. We really liked it. So that's it for the first video of 2020. 20. Um, as I say, we've got some plans. Um, we also have now really got our Patreon page together. So if you'd like to go and check that out, there's a link below. Um, three very simple uh, tiers of support. If you would like to, $2 helps us keep going, making videos. $5 you get to see behind the scenes. And if you're interested in seeing more of um, our Serbian Christmas Day that isn't in this video, if Lots you go to Patreon, we have stuff. tons of behind the scenes. You can see the whole thing. Uh, and we take you along wherever we're going. And we've also decided that we're going to do this more. And so if, you, if you'd like to support us on Patreon, you'll get, we'll take you everywhere where you won't see on YouTube and you won't find out about on the blog, just especially for you. And the link um, is below and it'd be gratefully accepted. So that's it. That's it. We're going to do one of these a week, yep? Yes. Oh, yeah. And Tam says to ask you, what she it? wants me to ask you, do you want to do Facebook Lives again? Yes. I think because uh, we used to do Facebook Lives and people really liked it. I always found back it back in the day. Back in the day. But then David doesn't like Facebook that much and then he killed it. And then, yeah, once a week we did Facebook Live. So, it was really, really fun. So please let us know about that. And of course, any other questions, put them in the uh, description below like and, see any and we'll make videos about things. Yes, if you'd like to see anything on this channel, please put, uh, put a comment down below. What would you like us to film? What would you like us to see? We live in the Banja Luka area and we travel around the area. We Go have to lots, countries. Of, lots of friends visiting us and everything and we show them around. So we make some footage. So if you're interested in something, please let us know. Put the comments down below. Yeah. And, and if you'd like to come and visit us also, leave us a direct message. Yes. And we'll help you. Yeah. Okay. That's okay, it for now. Bye. Because it's the new year. <laughs> that's the only bit of intimacy you're getting. See you soon. See you. Bye.